Hebron, we're really glad at this point. Uh, financially, we are in a, in a decent shape. Even with the property tax caps and that have put a squeeze on things. But our clerk treasurer kind of keeps us in line and makes sure that we're thinking about everything we're spending. And uh, she does a very good job with that. We uh, have a lot of projects that we really need to get done and are starting to work on. But uh, some of them have to take a back seat because of finances. The uh, things that we are trying to do right now, we have to do an upgrade on our UV system at our sewer plant. And we're ordering parts for that right now and starting to make that happen. Uh, we have a Monroe Street project that we want to put a drain line in. It goes runs along the Monroe Street, back of the homes on Monroe Street. It'll run out through the Little League property and drain that whole area. And we'll put a sewer line in and everything. So hopefully that uh, Little League won't have to rent porta pots anymore. And we can have a uh, regular restrooms there hopefully sometime this year for they'll be able to get that put in so that'll that's a project we want to get done we're working on our fire station needs expansion we have a volunteer fire department a very good volunteer fire department but they're running out of room so we need to get a building built an expansion built on their building or at least add a three bay garage so that we can bring some of their equipment and make more room in the regular station for them. We also are trying to plan that event, maybe for the eventuality of having an ambulance housed on site here to help support Southern Porter County. Uh, that's one of our projects that needs to, needs to happen. We, our economic development group is working on a north side extension for sewer lines to go to the north part of the town here. There has been approximately 300 plus acres of land annex just prior to the recession here. And when the recession hit, everything went flat, of course, just like everywhere else. But we're hoping now that everything's going to start coming out of the, out and maybe when the roses bloom here this summer, maybe things will start to pick up and maybe the building will start to develop. Uh, even today the news was across the country that building has started to rise so we're hoping Hebron it starts to rise. We have been approached in the last couple of weeks by a uh, realtor and a bank that's looking to try to move some property here in town that might be able to be opened up in the phase three of our Brookwood subdivision. If somebody picks that up and makes it happen. We hope so. Uh, we have some real long-term visions that we're excited about and we but it takes taking a lot of careful planning and uh, we're gonna make it happen one way or another but we're we're working on it and that's to build a new town center for our for our community. We want a partnership with all areas around. We want to develop with Porter Township, Boone Township, Winfield possibly, because we're all very close in proximity. And uh, we want to be a, we want to make a partnership with everybody. We want to be regionalized in that sense of the word. So that's our major goal. And uh, I know that Sounds a lot for Little Hebron of 3,700 people, but uh, that's what we want to see for ourselves.